I meant to hit one. One. There we go. So that's why I went ahead and did the high jump along with the... What is it called? Anti-gravity boots, pretty much. This way we could access the information locker, get all the information. You don't actually have to read through it, just scroll through it. And... Kind of hasten up this mission. If we get direct to the evidence, we don't really have to worry about going through the police station. This ebook might have something. That's why it's important to check all these things. Once we read enough of the info in this locker, the game will trigger some other kind of event letting you know you've got what you need. There we go. That's the evidence. Gain the experience. And I don't think we really need anything in that safe. Let's see. Uh, with motherly ties, we've... Alright, so we need to locate Captain Penn's office. Wagner's. I think we've got enough information. We can make this one inactive for now. And activate this. Because we need to further explore this area all around the police station without needing to go in it by going underneath it now. We've jumped over fences, we're gonna jump into manholes. The exploration in this game is phenomenal. Hello, Pokemon Kiddo 2. People are just waking up. I guess it's uh, getting into 10, so now everybody's waking up Saturday morning cartoons, or they're watching my live stream. And that is mucho awesome. So if you see a manhole cover, that's why it pays to look all around your environment, not just for the sake of looking at the detail and design. Look at that, they even etched out the magazines, the pizza boxes, it's great. Uh, but it's also for the benefit of finding new pathways, different ways to play the game that you weren't thinking were possible before until you found that alleyway or like this ladder here. We don't even need to really worry about the ladder since we've got the anti-gravity boots. I'm just going to call them that. I know it's the Kid Icarus or whatever the hell that is, landing system. Alright, now that guy over there, this is why I got to crouch. He does not want you in this area. See, he's already looking at us. So we're going to have to take him out with stealth. If possible. You're kind of welcome on our turf, pal. Alright, I'm going. Where'd he go? And tap the Q button. Enjoy your electrolysis bath. <laughs> I just hit the Q button lightly to make him go to sleep, but he suggested, uh, he, I mean, he insisted really on falling into that lake of electricity. What a fool. I think he's got some friends over here too that need dealing with. Not everyone in this sewer system is hostile, but the ones that are... You want to do what you can to take them out quick. Fucking gunshots! Fucking gunshots! And what you gonna do about it? You're gonna keep closely, closely crawling to your death. <laughs> wow. Good on him. He actually got off a shot with that shotgun. Oh, but we don't have any space for it. So, yeah, you know, see, this is the problem about holding this. Alright, you know what? We're going to keep holding it. I don't mind. We're going to hold on to the sniper rifle for now because it is a sort of rare gun. It's not as easy to get a hold of as some of the other weaponry in this game. But one of the next things we will make an effort to upgrade on our augmentations list is the storage capacity. And that is done by upgrading your strength. The more strength you have, the more items you can carry. In fact, let's check on that right now. I don't know how many Praxis it takes. Let's see. Oh, great. It's only one Praxis, and we can increase our storage capacity. Uh, Alright, I know I just came up here. 
but I want to go back for that guy's shotgun. Now that we have the upgraded space, it's good to travel with as many weaponry as you can get because sometimes in an area, you just can't find the right ammo you're looking for. So if you have a good blank spread of all the weapons available, you'll be covered most of the time. Oh, and also, I don't know if you caught that. It was very quick showing you that if you hold the left click button, if you hold the left click on your mouse from jumping from a high area, that Icarus landing system will allow you to stun some people. This doesn't want to be hacked because it's got a security rating of three. But remember what we picked up? Oops. <laughs> Remember what we picked up at the Arsenal store. G to use that. Okay. I was like, right click. No, that doesn't do it. Left click. That doesn't do it either. G. And now the door is open. That's why those things are so valuable. We don't have to waste all that time gaining experience and wrecking havoc in the police station. We can just cut to the chase here and go for the basement, the morgue, where we really want to access. Okay. Now, normally, the way that I did this is I would make some kind of noise, have the security officers... have the security officers come out, and then I would drag their bodies over here. And interestingly enough, when you drag any enemy over into this laser grid, it shuts it all off. Oh, man! Keep searching! Someone is in the area! It alerted them Anyone anyway. Damn. Alright, I'm gonna have to take this no guy out. Take, take, take him out, take him out. Goodbye. That's what's awesome about the Q button. But it only works if you have enough energy via those batteries. It's a quick way to take out enemies that are close by. In one shot. You know what? Shut up. I don't care if you see me. The alarm's already been triggered. I've done all the damage I can do. So, once again, these guards get in our way. And because that guy is laying in the passageway of the lasers, which I believe we can't hack at this time, right? Yep. It's at a level 2, and we're only at level 1 with our hacking skills. Uh, so, because of his corpse, that opened up the passageway. So sometimes it's good to cause havoc, and it's good to make noise when you would think, oh, all you want to do in this game is all stealth. That's not the case. Sometimes you gotta raise a little hell to do things right. Let's see what's in here. Yep, another 10 mil. Open, says me. And another 10 mil. That's a great thing about the station. Got plenty of 10 mils for us to take advantage of. Ooh, and I think there's some combat rifle ammo in here, too. Even though this isn't like the wastes of Fallout, it has huge Fallout RPG 3D exploration elements in that you're not going to have a surplus of ammo all the time. It's not like Call of Duty where they just provide you with as many bullets as it takes to waste any foe you come across. No, you've got to do this really strategically and consider what you're walking into. Are you going to have enough ammo to handle the situation? Are you going to maybe take them out with stealth or just completely circumvent any type of encounter at all? Okay, come on. You use the WASD keys to move around these nodes. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. Ah, one second. Oof. That's what's so cool about that uh, timer there. Sometimes you make it in a millisecond or so, but it counts. About time. You the home sec guy I was ordered to wait for? Tell Manderly I didn't get the memo until I was halfway through the autopsy. By then, it was too late to close him up again. Right. So you recovered the neural hub? Tricky bit of work that was. A few inches lower and the bullet would have fried more than just the pedal connectors. As it is, I can't guarantee you'll get anything useful out of it, other than the fact that it's been modified. Modified? With what? 
Some kind of wet drive. But hey, I didn't look. Ultraviolet means ultraviolet. And I know how touchy you guys get when it comes to matters of national security. He's all yours. The house has been detached, but I left it in the skull as ordered. Now, if you'll excuse me, I got paperwork to fix. All right, so that guy doesn't even know that we're not a part of his squad. That's convenient. We won't have to take him out then. And we just take his neural hub. Boss, I got the neural hub. Looks like it's been modified with some kind of wet drive. Pritchard should have a look at it. No, don't bring it here. Frank's not finished running his diagnostic, and I don't want to risk connecting any tech to our networks till he's done. Especially if the tech is military. So what do you want me to do? Take the hub to your apartment. I'll have Frank contact you there. Let's see, anything valuable in these drawers? Yep, a nuke virus. Very handy, very handy indeed. Okay, so we don't want to yet take it back to Seraph because the security seems not safe. And that's cool. I have some people my age watching the stream too, which would make sense since this is not exactly a kid's game. Although it is for the purpose of saving children in hospitals who are sick, so it's, it's funny. We kill to save. We're only killing virtual peoples. So that's what makes the big difference. Uh, let's see, where does this lead out to? I'll, cl I'll crawl on through it just to get some experience. But yep, I've stopped uh, watching Saturday morning cartoons. Well, I never really watched them in the first place. Uh, this leads just back up to the, the station. I don't want to go there. Don't want to go there at all. Oh, jeez, this guy. I almost walked right into his view. But I am a big fan of anime. Oh, you know, we should have just went back the way we came because we only have to get back to our home and keep the neural hub there until Pritchard has something to say to us. So thank you very much, uh, Pokemon Keto, if you plan on donating later. And in all seriousness, why I am doing this 24-hour stream, this was really a last moment thing and I've got some big tests coming up but I said well I gotta I gotta do it because it's all across the country right now there are so many streams going on at the same time it makes me wonder if we're gonna crash YouTube because this is part of the whole extra life foundation it's not just me doing this it's everybody on October 20th trying to raise as much money as we can for children's hospitals in the US so no matter what the political state is we don't care we are doers we're action people we are objective completers mission accomplish achievements we want them all and the reason that we do it is so no matter what the healthcare is we can help some people out and you can too by clicking that link in the description and going to donate or just sharing this video by tweeting it up posting on Google Plus whatever you can do it's all good the thing is we're here and we're gonna see maybe in the future what our monies can do for the children imagine if in the future not so long from now we run donation streams to see if we can get people augmented augmented in the way of Jensen so they can leap high bounds maybe crawl walls who knows now that would be something I donate for just to see if it's possible but at that point if those augmentations existed I might want to do it for myself might want to test the augs out on my own body. Now we gotta head back home. Home, home, home in this Detroit. I think it's right around the corner. The cars look nice. The street cities don't look great. <laughs> the city's on the street. That right in there, that's going to be a new mission. Especially when we talk hey, to this Jensen. person. Long time no see. Jensen. My god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Man. I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? Yeah, I guess that's one way to put it. You look a little different too, Xander. What's your new gig? Deep cover. I'm keeping tabs on the derelict rowballers for now. 
I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. Oh, nice. The now, ash fire and we're working is now in the stream. Jack What's up? Elusive motherfucker. I mean, and then I black see someone's elusive. comment got cut off. We know he's I haven't in played drugs, a trading card game online. To the gangs. I'm guessing that's what it's but saying. He's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Oh, I'm still rubbing the sleep Break out of my eye. Apartment. Sneak Somebody's into playing the Gary's mod. And finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. This guy is nothing minor, Jensen. He's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? I'm totally in. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads. Hey, comrade, who controls Amali's coffee? has got friends among the powers that be. Is there I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant, even if I had footage of the perp confessing oil? in real time as he's finger painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. It's all good. Hmm. Very dirty, Harry, of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I don't want him to walk on a technicality. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? Information, drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Okay. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cash is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. What about the undercover assignment, posing as a hitman? O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone, a drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. He's not going to turn in peacefully, but we need him alive. So I guess you're going to have to play this one macho and knock him out. One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. Okay, let's do this. You can contact me on my info link if anything comes up. Excellent. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. Alright, now that is a great mission to go ahead and take part on.